Hey guys, how you doing today? This is Coach Gilbert coming to you and today I just wanted to have a quick talk with you about uh, end of the year, uh, taking a little break, having a little bit of maybe overtraining. Um, so let's get to it. Uh, this year I had quite a bit of uh, races. Uh, I went from nationals to uh, the Belgian waffle ride which is um, pretty crazy. Uh, Cross country nationals, you know, it's a uh, like a high intensity race uh, and uh, the Belgian waffle race well it's definitely an endurance race with over 130 miles of racing so uh, with that being said you know all year it was non-stop uh, training I did take well I did take a couple weeks off uh, during the year but uh, truthfully towards the end of the year you know just after the Belgian waffle I felt really tired and pretty sick of riding the bicycle uh, so I just kind of wanted to get away from it. Uh, I got some weeks off and I, I'm still kind of a little bit off. Uh, I've been trying to do some writing, I've been trying to go to the gym a little bit, uh, but I haven't really gone back to any, any formal training. Um, there's no events yet that uh, I'm I'm uh, trying to uh, attend or that I'm you know trying to uh, get ready for uh, I'm thinking about maybe next month uh, just doing a eight-hour race uh, with uh, uh, with a partner um, you know try to just make it something fun and I did get into the uh, lottery for lead bill 100 so January 13 I believe they're gonna let me know if I'm gonna be selected for the race and uh, if I am, then uh, that's where my actual training is going to be starting. The race is in August, so there's plenty of time to get back into shape. I did gain about 9 pounds, 10 pounds right now, uh, so I'm not in my best race shape. Uh, I know January is next week, and uh, I am a little bit behind, but I really needed a break. Uh, you know, I've been training for probably the last couple of years since I actually took like a big uh, multiple week break and uh, it just gets gets on you uh, riding every day going to the gym running uh, you know it, it, it takes its toll uh, the body is not really meant to be doing you know 20 hours of training a week so I think I really needed this break and I'm trying to now get the ball rolling again uh you know as i mentioned i've been going to the gym a little bit riding a little bit but a very you know non-structure like a day over here a day over there and i need to get back to actually riding uh you know say five six days a week and going to the gym three four times a, a week um you know i just need to start building that base but uh, before I do that, I need to just have a little bit of a transition period, maybe a week or so. And, uh, I, you know, I subscribe to Swift right now since it's raining. So I'm just going to be trying to put an hour a day at least. And uh, gradually just started increasingly, putting a little bit of gym, having a little bit of intervals. And uh, hopefully in a couple of months uh, by the cross-country um, uh series well by what by the time that it starts which is around March I should be in pretty in fairly good shape I'm probably not gonna be winning any races at that time but again if, if my goal is gonna be to race Leadville 100 at the end of um, next year uh, or this year almost right <laughs> uh, then you know it's I'm gonna have to be putting a lot of hours in there and a lot of intensity and yeah it should be fun i know i have the endurance i you know i just did the belgian waffle ride this year uh but 100 miles in the mountain bike it's totally a different experience i've done 100 kilometers on the a mountain bike and uh you know that's usually pretty tough so 100 miles it's gonna be incredible so uh so yeah I, you know i'm waiting on that but uh on that note you know i just i want to let everybody know if don't get overtrained you know if you're feeling overwhelmed if you don't want to ride anymore if you don't feel like going out and you know having fun on the bike like it's more of a, a responsibility you got to do like a requirement thing then 
you know, stop for a little bit. You're not getting paid, or in my case, I'm not getting paid for it. Um, you know, it doesn't, you might get a little better, but you're plateauing quite a bit when, when you're at that point. So just take a break, uh, you know, forget about it. You're not gonna lose all your fitness in a month, you know, that you've been working out for, I don't know, 10 years, five years. Uh, so, you know, a week off, a month off, uh, whatever you need, three months off, you know, even uh, take the break that you need and uh, you're going to be ready to get back to it. Uh, the one thing with me, I'm just a little lazy, so I need to start getting used to it. But usually once I start getting used to the schedule, um, then I'm pretty good at maintaining and, you know, keeping my structure uh, workouts. But... Um, you know, it's I was starting to get overtrained, so I really needed this break, and hopefully, it's something that it's gonna do a lot of good for me, and it should be getting getting me ready for for next year. So, um, yeah, if you're in Swift, let me know. I uh, put it down there, down there on the comments. Your username, I'll add you, and uh, let's go writing. All right, have fun. Uh, enjoy the last week of the year, and uh, I'll see you next year on the trails. All right, have a great day.